Shalom, shalom, daughters of Zion. I'm Ayalea coming back at you with another video. Um, just want to just share a word why I am prepping my family's dinner tonight uh, by the way, which will be beef stroking off with green beans and rolls. Uh, so why I, I am, um, you know, just preparing my dinner, I just want to share a word that I came across um, and just talk to you a little bit about what my channel uh, will be about. So I was just reading, just reading um, Luke chapter 12. Um, Luke chapter, chapter 12 is going to be the chapter that uh, me and my ish, my husband, will be um, speaking on on next Shabbat um, for our Shabbat lesson. And um, I'm just trying to just study it, a, study a little bit of it daily, so I can get familiar with the chapter and and what exactly is going on. Uh, but while I was reading verses uh, four through seven, um, I just really said to myself, I need to share this with the daughters of Zion. And I will read that real quick while my ground beef is cooking. Um, and it basically reads, I'm reading out of the New King James Version Bible, okay? And it reads, and I say to you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who can kill the body and after that have no more that they can do, okay? But I will show you whom you should fear. Fear him who, after he has killed, has power to cast into hell. Yes, I say to you, fear him. And then it goes on to say, Are not five sparrows sold for two copper coins? And not one of them is forgotten before our hand. But the very hair on your head are all numbered. Do not fear, therefore. You are more valuable than sparrows. And just for my uh, younger listeners, my grandchildren, those that are new in the walk and the truth, um, you know, I, I plan on being just very basic in my channel because I believe that uh, my channel is targeted at uh, younger, younger people, not just in age, but also coming into the truth. Uh, more like babes, those that are still on the milk of the word. Uh, so I don't really intend on going real deep to where my grandchildren, other children, and those that are new in the war um, have difficulty understanding uh, what is being said. Uh, I did look up the word sparrows um, for my younger um, subscribers. And sparrow is just basically a small bird. And um, it just, the uh, scripture is just letting us know uh, that as small as that bird is, the Most High found, finds value in that bird. And we are so much more important than that bird, so of course uh, he finds value in us, especially those that are awakened to truth and striving to uh, live by the uh, Lord's statutes and commandments of the Most High Yah. Um, so I just want to put emphasis on um, not fearing man. We should not be fearing man at all. Um, and when I say man, I'm just not talking about, you know, man per se. Uh, I'm talking about mankind, um, male, female, whatever. We should not fear men and, and what they can do to us or say to us and stuff like that. Um, because when it's all said and done, like the word is saying, that's all they can do is kill the body, okay? And I know that sounds a little harsh or whatever. Uh, nobody really wants to die and leave their body, um, but we all have to. And if the Most High allows that to happen, hey, He ordered it. So, um, nevertheless, we should not fear uh, man. Um, while I'm speaking, just came to mind um, is the story, I believe it's in the Apocrypha, about um, the mother that had seven sons. And um, they, I believe they was asked to 
eat unclean food, eat unclean meat or whatever. Um, and they didn't. They did not fear man. And each one of them died. They died a cruel death. And I want to say even at the end, they took her life as well. Um, I don't remember the story just word from word. Uh, but my point is, uh, my point I'm trying to make is how they did not fear. They did not fear um, man at all. They basically feared the Most High. As the Bible says, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Most High. And so we have to keep that in mind. Uh, we don't have to fear man. We don't have to fear anything that they can do to us, anything that they can say to us, like I said earlier. Uh, but our fear needs to be in the Almighty Yah and Yahweh. And so, um, you know, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this video. Um, I'm trying to, add, like I said, cook my dinner. And that was just a word that was downloaded in my spirit to share with the Sisters of Zion. Um, but I also wanted to take a little time as well to uh, just talk a little bit about what my channel is going to be about. Um, like I said earlier, my channel is basically it's going gonna, it's gonna to be geared toward um, younger, the younger audience, like my grandchildren, other children, uh, those that are new in the war, uh, Daughters of Zion that is new in the war, uh, uh, just need guidance, those that need guidance and um, just understanding of the Most High Word. So uh, basically that is what my channel is going to be about. So. Uh, those uh, uh, Emas and Okotis that have been in the walk in a while and you're looking for, I guess, um, more deeper study of the Most High Word. Um, no, I'm not going to do a lot of that and this may not be the channel for you. Um, but I will be led according to, way, to, according to how the Most High moved me. Um, I will do a little deeper study on some words and different things like that. But like I said, I want to speak in a way uh, that even a child could understand it. Okay, I don't want to be all deep and over people's heads to where um, I'm not edifying anybody but myself. So that is not my um, goal for my channel. Um, and again, like I said, my channel will have like different segments. Okay, one of them will be self-care. Um, also, I will have um, a segment called Life Nugget. Uh, that's basically going to be geared towards my grandchildren uh, and the younger audience. Um, things, it's going to be basically about things that I have learned, um, things that I'm still learning and will learn um, in hopes that I can make the journey for my grandchildren and others a little smoother. Um, I also plan on uh, incorporating um, a little study on uh, life insurance policies and annuities. Basically, that's what I do from home. I work from home, and um, I basically help customers with um, life insurance policies and also annuities. And uh, that segment is going to be geared towards um, getting our people to think about uh, getting these things in order and having uh, an inheritance that we can leave to our children and our children's children. And the job that I'm doing, I noticed that the other nations, uh, they really um, have their inheritance prepared for their children and their children's children. And so I will be sharing uh, different types of policies, uh, life insurance policies. I will give a little um, definition on what the policy is uh, and also dealing with annuities, different types of annuities. Um, I won't tell you which one to choose or anything like that. Uh, that will be up to you and your family on what type of um, life insurance policy or annuity that you think is best and that will fit your family uh, needs. Um, and of course my uh, channel is going to be geared also towards just 
spending a lot of time with my grandchildren, uh, cooking different things, um, traveling with them, um, just doing activities with them, uh, Bible studies with them, and different things like that. And so I'm excited. I really am excited about um, this venture, this new venture that the Most High had me on with my YouTube channel. And I'm just tickled and can't wait to see um, where he's going to carry me dealing with this channel. So um, I am going to just uh, go ahead and get off of this right now and, and finish up my dinner. Okay. And I just want to say that I am praying for the Sisters of Zion. Okay. And I also ask for your prayers as well. And um, I just pray that y'all stay strong, stay encouraged in this walk. Uh, be supportive uh, to your issues, your husbands. Um, teach your children. And just, you know, stay faithful. That's the biggest thing. Stay faithful to the Most High Yah. So I'm going to end this video here, and I'm going to say, y'all, Baruch, until the next time. Shalom, shalom.